What's up, party animals? It's your girl May, and welcome back to We Happy Few. So Gwen has. What does she have? Fucking measles. Measles. Yeah, she has the measles. Uh, and that also uh confirms why, um, before why um Sally needed the uh, you know, cod liver oil. I also still have the plague, so, uh... Maybe I should find a way to deal with the plague first. Oh, finally, God! Finally, thank God, I got what I need! Back to the house. God, me. Oh my god. Thank god! Oh, thank god. I'm yes! Fifteen. I got fifteen of these bitches. Too, so I'm good. I'm good. All right. Uh, now actually for the real mission. Yeah. All right. Now that I'm no longer sick, can't get my baby sick. I swear to God. Oh. Having these is fucking great. Alright, now let's go. Okay, we're back at this factory. <laughs> time I was at this factory, I think I was Arthur. Hello? It's Sally. Sally Boyle. Can I come in? Right oh ma'am. I'll get the door for ya. What the fuck? Okay, so Sally can just come right on in. Miss Boyle, what a nice surprise. We haven't seen you in quite some time, have we, Constable Whistler? Indeed, we have not, Constable Layton. And may I say, ma'am, you brighten our day. Like, uh, like... Like Blackberry Joy. What would we do without our Blackberry Joy? And we thank you for it, don't we? I must say, Dr. Verloc is not equally thankful, seeing as you have become his primary competition. And he nurses a broken heart. Hell, no fury, as they say. Are you quite sure you wish us to announce your presence? P please. Dr. Verloc, sir? I said no interruption. Dr. Verloc, sir, there 
There's a young lady who wishes to see you. You'll have to be more specific. You place me in a quandary, sir, as you have expressly forbidden me to speak her name on any account. Sally! Hi. Come crawling back, have you? Please don't hate me, Anton. Oh, no? I teach you everything I know. You steal my notes. You are my notes, Doctor. You steal my business, and you have the nerve to come back here. You locked me out in the rain to teach me a lesson. And then you replace me with Bing. Anton. We were so close. So close to cracking the isometric structure of the new molecule. I suppose you cracked it on your own after you left, didn't you? Doctor. Your black bear. Doctor! I don't care if the General's protecting you. You've gone too far this time. Silent! Arrest her! She's a thief! Don't let her get away! I am sorry, Miss Boyle. Uh, perhaps you had better... Yeah. Of course. You're like, sorry! Fuckity fuck. Why do I get cod liver oil now? Wait, Arthur. He was always so good at finding things. If he can survive the Garden District, he was so mad, but he could never stay mad at me for long. Not after he told me off. In the Garden District? Bro, I mean, the last time you asked him for that, uh, you... Wait, hold on. Have I been to the Garden District already? Where? Aha! Okay, wait, do I have... Ooh, fuck. Wait, wait, is there an access hatch? Okay, cool, I can just take the access hatch then. I'm sorry. For the past 14 years, I've sort of thought about what I'd run into you again. But being a complete boss about the general was not really part of the plan. Sir Robert's a client. Oh, good. I, I mean... <laughs> I don't go around having clients. No, no. Uh, of course not. I just... Ask him. He likes to feel important. Even after all the awful things I said. We used to be Arthur and Sally. The two musketeers. Remember? Did you really come here just to offer me a letter of transit? Or did you want something? I thought we could help each other. All right. What do you want? I used to know I could trust you about it. What is it you want? It's going to sound stupid, but... A bottle of cod liver oil. A bottle of cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with? What if I told you it was sort of a souvenir? Why on earth would you want to remember your mum? I don't know. I keep hoping I'll remember something that'll make it all better. An accident and she didn't mean to poison the soup. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Look, if it's too much to ask. I suppose it would be too much to expect. Don't worry, Arthur. I will ask my friend the General for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Look. It's not exactly a souvenir. Things have got more complicated than usual. And I'm sorry I fucked everything up. Die, you know. I thought about it, but I couldn't. Not after. After what your mum did. What my mum did. <sighs> Look, I'll get it for you. The cod liver. I missed you so. Jesus fucking you! <laughs> and you expect him to not believe that you don't? Oh, yeah. oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'll, I'll, I'll get you that letter. I have to go. I'm sorry. I'm really, really. 
It just, oh, just came out. Go. Get you that bottle. Meet you back here sometime. No one I've got. I guess I've got to see the general now. Won't that be fun? I wish I died in the. This is for the benefit of Mr. Kite. The rabbit got into the garden. The rabbit got into the garden. Sounds like some sort of secret match. Our next destination. Uh oh. Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. No nice to, to see you, Miss Boyle. You know. Hello, boys. Keeping us safe? Next walk can't come soon enough, if you ask me, miss. Hope the Jerrys come before my knees go, ma'am. I'll let the Jerrys know you miss them. So we can go! Get in sh oh. You lot don't appreciate the general, because all you know... I hope the general's not in one of his old poor me moves. It's such a chore dragging out of them. If he's cheery, I bet he'll give me the letter of transit without a blink. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a German infiltrator. Please don't ambush me. Where are they? Miss Boyle! We weren't expecting you. Harry, why the fuck is the gate open? Excuse my French, ma'am. I told you to close it. No, Sergeant, you didn't. You said you were going to close it, but you had to go to the loo first. No, I didn't. I said I'm going to the loo. Why don't you close the gate? Boys. Boys, you can close it now if you like. Right, Harry. Close the gate, if you please, whilst I accompany Miss Boyle to the General's office. Yeah, let's do that. On. Miss Boyle! I oh, won't he be happy to see you? He's trying to fix the boat again. The one in the warehouse? You mean the one in the boathouse, as is, Mom? They've moved the boat to the water. And he's got Hardy patching it up. Hardy don't hardly know which end of a boat goes in the water. If you don't think Hardy up to it. Find me someone who does know boats. Sally! Suppose you drift away, sir. How are we gonna fetch you? What an unexpected pleasure. Army officers ought not to be pottering about in boats, sir. What's that? I realize you must be out of rainbow. You haven't been round in weeks. Wasn't I around just a few days ago? Damn it. Oh, and a friend of mine left the parade without his letter of transit. Now he can't go back to work. <laughs> That's silly. Any friend of yours, my dear. It's been too long, anyway. Oddest thing. Last time I was there, I could swear I heard something that sounded like a cat. But I haven't seen a cat since the war. Have you? Fortunately, I wrote myself a note. Sally has got a baby. What do you suppose that means? Who knows? Once you hallucinated that you were back in India and you kept saying, but I don't want to shoot some poor bastard's elephant. <laughs> <laughs> You're as clever a liar as I am. 
You can lie with the truth. Your cruel's a toy with me, General. It's Dr. Velox, baby. Isn't it? No wonder you never told him. God knows what he'd do to a baby. You might have told me. She's not your baby, baby. So what do you care? Do you remember the children born after the war? We got some of them out, but they made everyone so unhappy. Can... can you get us out? I might be able to get her out, if I'm very clever, but... I can't spend you. What do you think would happen if our beloved Bobbies ran out of Blackberry Joy? I've a safe house. Remember that abandoned building where you threw me that masquerade ball last year? I've cleaned it up a bit. Bring her there. I'm not sending her away. Why not? It's traditional, a single girl in trouble, not equipped to take care of her baby. I thought you'd be grateful. You'll end up in one of Dr. Verloc's castles, and even I won't be able to save you. You don't know what it's like to be alone, do you? A girl like you never is. <laughs> I think you know the way out. All right. I've got the bloody letter of transit. Arthur said he'd let me know when he had the copy for oil. Oh, I hope he sent me something on the blower. Wait. If the General's got the boat in the boathouse, if I can get it working, maybe I can get us out of here. Okay, so this is bad. All personnel, if anyone finds Private Elston's trumpet, please return. Turn it at once. He's not the man who wakes you up in the morning. He is a musician in the band. General's Bristol pilot. My god, if I could steal a boat, does it work? Miss Boyle, how lovely to see you. You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. They don't leak quite as much anymore. Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, forget starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. We'd have to take it apart, but I think I'd never get it back together again. You know a lot about boats. And you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. Apparently, that makes me the General's expert on boats. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is uh, that what 
on a boat it is did about 20 leagues but yeah it wasn't really white water so we sold it for a twin diesel schooner of course the navy requisitioned that for lake patrols we tried to patch up a cubo during the occupation but we couldn't find a ramjet done not an expert would you like happen to know how to fix the motor well if it's rusted solid um, Maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for me. Oh, I forgot about that. You her. know Dr. Faraday? If the likes of me asked her, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right. But don't tell the General. No, ma'am. It'll be our little secret. Won't the General be surprised? What can I take from here? This stuff looks... I don't know who you're trying to fool, Mum. Talking all posh like that. You think Prince Charming's going to come visiting with a glass slipper? I hope not. He's already married to Snow White, Cinderella, and Sleeping Beauty. Don't be smart. Nobody likes a smart girl. Oh, shut up. We may just make it out of here alive after all. I just need to get Doc Faraday to make a new boat motor for me. Then I lied my ass off to Hardy. I've never been near a boat. So I'll need to find someone who can tell me how to drive one. And I guess I'll need to steal the General's key to the boat. Alright. First things first. Who can tell me about boats? Hmm. Wait. Ah, oh, the air raid shelter. Arthur and I snuck in there once. And then we walked the rail tunnels all the way back to Maiden Home. I should go down there and make sure the hatch door is still open. Never hurts to have an escape hatch. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't Arthur be pleased if he'd come up with that? Ooh, at all. Ooh, okay. So, um, I think that's a great place to end it. So, I hope you guys had fun, and I'll party with you animals next time. Thank you.